All right, here's a quick way to help your kids to learn to use the verb cards. You know, sometimes students will have difficulty creating sentences if you just put a verb in front of them. So here's what's really worked for me and some of my students. I'll take a who or a what card and I'll place it in front of a verb card and I'll create a question. Who fought? Or I could say what fought? Or who is fighting? Or who fights? And a student might say, who fought with the lion? Or he might just say, who fought? And the answer would be, John fought. Or who fought with the lion? The soldier fought with the lion. So they would have then to create their question and write their answers down to the question. Make sure that they're writing the question in their notebook and also the answer. Let's do another one. See, instead of just saying create a sentence with the word with the verb move, I can say who moved. So let's say they spun the spinner and they came to a yellow card, or you're just practicing different verbs this week. Take the who or what card, place it in front of your verb card, and have them create sentences. It's that simple. Who or what moved? John moved the books. Okay? Who moved the books? Uh, who drank the soup? Mary drank the soup. And you'll find that students are readily able to create sentences once they're creating questions and answers. So go and try it. And students, I want you to try it with me, okay? For example, let's do this one together. Who, what? Who ate? And you might want to add to that, who ate what? Who ate the soup, okay? So you might want to say who ate um, or who is eating or any number of sentences that you can do with the verb, um, any type of the verb endings, but the key is to create your questions and then go answer them. It's that simple. Go try it. Let's have some fun using our verb cards.